YouTube family. How y'all doing this evening, man? It's Cowboy coming at you. I'm in the lab, man. Cigar Opinion is back at work. Hope everybody's having a good afternoon or good evening, I should say, man. I know it's been a while since I've been on. Thought it's time to come on and do a review, man. Not be lazy today and get one out of the way. But before I get started with uh, what we're doing tonight, man, I want to say congratulations to those guys that uh, finally got a chance to uh, pick up on the uh, gifts that Cowboy was giving away for his 500 subscribers. Uh, thanks to the second group of guys from responding. Cause the first group of guys didn't get back in touch with me after those three days, so sorry I had to follow the rules and pick three more. So they picked up on it right away. So congratulations to P. Rowling. Um... GBC Woods and Marco Polo uh, on YouTube. Um, I know you guys are probably wondering uh, what Cowboy was giving away. A little small token of appreciation to remember me by. So, what are we doing today? Cowboy has decided to come on today and uh, we're gonna pull out the old humidor. Going back into my bow tie stash. As you guys know, I've been talking about bow tie cigars here over the last couple of weeks. I had an interview with my man Billy from Bow Tie, and I did a review on the brand new white label. Somebody asked me had I reviewed the copper label, and no, I had not reviewed it. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are going to review the bow tie copper label, the six by fifty four, I believe it is Toro if I'm not mistaken. So, and along with the review for the cigar, something I've been holding on to for a while, man, and I figured this would be a great time to bring it out, and I'll tell you why. I don't know if you guys knew it, but uh, Snoop Dogg has a wine out called 19 Crimes. It's Cali Red by 19 Crimes, uh, a wine company that he's doing a collaboration with. Have not had this yet, but... The reason why I'm putting these two together tonight is, if anybody knows my man Billy, Billy is a true hip-hop head. He really is. So, uh, we got a cigar blender that has his own cigar that's a hip-hop head. We have a rap module like Snoop Dogg, who has a collaboration and his own wine. So I decided I'd put the two together tonight. So that's what we're doing. Uh, 19 Crimes, Cali Red by Snoop. So, as we get in this cigar, man, let you guys take a look at that thing, man. That is a great looking stick. This is one of the sticks that uh, made my list of my go-to cigars that I keep in my humidor. One that I can pull out and smoke every day. As you can see, that has a beautiful, nice, oily brown wrapper there. Minimal, minimal veins. Just a tad bit of toothiness there. It's got a double cap on it. Not a perfect looking cap, but still a good looking cigar, man. Nice, slick. I love the bands on that wrapper, man. The bow tie copper label. Nice, shiny brown wrapper, like I said, man. On the smell, we got some barnyard there. A little musty, like compost. Some cedar. Nice. Very nice chocolate and cocoa note there on the foot. And some sweet tobacco. So, that's the cigar, man. Cowboy gonna cut him up, light him up and smoke him up and tell y'all what I think about it. But in the meantime, I am going to uh, start working on opening up this wine. So, as I get this wine open and get that cigar cut, I'll be back with you guys with this review in just a moment. Y'all relax. All right, family. We back. We got the cigar cut up, as you can see there. We got a very nice V cut on it. Uh, I failed to mention that this thing is wrapped in a uh, a wrapper rocker, uh, Brazilian wrapper, 
It's got Dominican filler, Peruvian filler, um, Colombian filler, Nicaraguan filler, um, and it also has a Dominican binder. It's about five different fillers inside of this cigar, if I'm calling them all off right. I hope I didn't miss anything. But uh, I've smoked this cigar several times, and I always have enjoyed it. Like I said, it's one of my go-to cigars. So Very nice open cold draw. A sweet coffee and a sweet tobacco there on the cold draw. Now there's some word going around about stop the cold draw. Cowboy been smoking cigars for 28 years and the cold draw is always a part of my regimen. I'm not gonna stop doing the cold draw. Let somebody else do that. So very nice. So we're gonna get this thing lit up. We're gonna see where we are and then we're gonna visit this wine. Like I say, man, I hope everybody's having a good day. Cowboy just came up with this concept of what I was going to do with this cigar tonight. So I think this is going to work out well. All right. Let's see what we got. Took a very nice light. Mm, nice. Right off the initial light up. Got a nice sweet cocoa note going there. Cedar. A nice earthiness. And a uh, little bit of black pepper and earth on the retro here. Really nice, really nice spiciness there to it as well. And I'm a big fan of a Peruvian tobacco. If I ever had to blend a cigar for myself, I would definitely want some Peruvian tobacco in it. Uh, like I say, this is a five story blend here. Uh, but so far, so good. Very nice, spicy, a little pepper on the retro. Like I said, woody, sweet tobacco, and some coffee on the initial light up. So, let's get into the wine real quick. So this Cali Red Wine, 19 Crimes, that Snoop Dogg is doing a collab with. As you can see, I, I got that top off, but look off, look at that, man. How many times did, have you ever seen a cork? That's got Snoop Dogg's picture on the cork. That's some cool shit right there. Just realized that. But, 19 crimes has something to do with a whole lot of guys that committed some crime years ago. I haven't had any of their wines, uh, but this says 19 crimes tells a true story of rule breakers who beat the odds to overcome adversity and went on to become folk heroes in their society. So I guess Snoop Dogg fit the profile being the fact that uh, he was once into a little bit of crime and he's got out and he's doing great. So good look for me so let's pull this thing up man see what we got man I'm gonna say that's a nice dark color there to that I mean almost like a purple man got some very nice legs to it looks like it's a pretty thick wine looks like it's got some nice viscosity to it nice smell there on the wine fruity deep fruits dark fruits plum black cherry blackberry Salute. Let's taste. On you, Snoop. Glasses up. Let's make a toast to success and nothing less. Yes, sir. Now, 
Uh, man, like I say, you'll see Cowboy dive into wines every now and then. I have to get in the mood for wines. I'm always in the mood for bourbon or scotch. But not bad. For a, uh, a blended wine, I think this is a Petite Syrah, Ziffindale, and a little bit of Merlot is the mix on this. So I really enjoy the blends on wines, just like I do the blends in cigars, the blends in scotch. Very nice so far. Nice thick mouth coating. I did chill it and took it out and let it sit for about a half an hour before I just opened it up. Not bad. Maybe a little bit sweet for me, but we'll let it open up and see where we at. So Cowboy gonna get to the through the first third of this cigar, man. Come back and let y'all know where we at. Y'all relax. Right, family. As you can see, I'm back. The first third on the Bowtie Copper label. The 6x54 Toro. I mean, I really love the rustic leather look on that cigar, man. Just a good looking cigar. Nice feel in the hand, man. Really nice ash, as you can see. It's got a very nice looking burn line there to it. But the burn line is not straight. Uh, that's the thing with this cigar. Sometimes we have to play with the burn, but we're going to see if that thing straightens itself out. But on this first third, man, we got a very mellow, mellow, mellow smoking cigar. Nice cedar wood. Nice earthiness to it. A mild spiciness. I got a real nice dry raisin fruit note there. And on that retro, that pepper for me is more of a sweet red pepper retro with a floral in it as well. Sweet tobacco core. I'm also picking up a nice powdered sugar. A nice powdered sugar there. And I didn't want to mess up on that five country blend. I think I thought I was missing something. So it's uh it's Dominican, Nicaraguan, Colombian, Peruvian, and uh Brazilian. That's it. Those are the five blends inside of the cigar. Very nice in my opinion. I love the blend. Shout out to Bowtie Cigars. You guys go down to BowtieCigars.com. Check out his site. Uh, we do now have a sampler that you guys can go on and order from BowtieCigars.com. Sampler pack where you can get a variety as opposed to buying a five pack of one thing. The samplers are available out there for you guys now. I'm really digging the uh, Cali Red by Snoop Dogg. If you guys get a chance, go to 19crimes.com. They really got a nice story behind this wine. I love story wines. All these convicts that they name these wines after, it looks like they got about five or six different wines, man. It's a very nice story. It's real cool uh, how they did this, man. But this is a nice blend for me. I'm glad I chilled it and then set it out and let it warm up to room temperature a little while because uh, not too sweet for me. Got a very nice uh, velvety texture to it. Dark dried fruits, like I said. Plum, blackberry, blueberry, but not a bad wine. 14.1% alcohol by volume. Doesn't taste like it, but I'm digging it. So. Like I said, shout out to you guys, man. All my new subscribers, thank you, man. Shout out to my man, Ryan Real. You guys go check out Ryan Real TV. Appreciate Ryan for all the hard work you do out there, brother. It does not go unnoticed. Cowboy gonna get through the second portion of this. I'll come back and let you guys know where we at. Y'all relax. They call me the dog father, king of the West Coast, and I was born to defy society. YouTube, I'm back with the Bowtie Copper label, the 6x54 Toro.
as you can see the cigar is performing well look at that ash on that cigar wanted you guys to see that before it fell off so I came back just a couple minutes early good looking ash on that cigar man so in this second third cigar smoking very mellow very cool still got that uh, mild sweet red pepper on the retro along with the uh, a little bit of dry earthiness there on the retro as well. Starting to pick up a really nice mineral note on the cigar. Not bad at all. I got the chocolate going. Got a nice leather there. Look at the, the burn line on that thing. It, it's been straightening itself out. I haven't had to touch it up. But you can see the oils coming off of that burn line, man. Which really gave me a nice leather note on the cigar. I'm going to say right now that the cigar is smoking on the low side of medium in strength, medium in body, and medium in flavors. Got a very nice cedar note there. Like I said before, sweet tobacco core. A little bit of powdered sugar I'm picking up as well. So far, so good. And what I've done with these cigars, I've been playing around with some of them. I'm going to go ahead and thump that ash. I've been playing around with some of these cigars, moving them around in some humidors. So what I've noticed is that these cigars now are smoking better since I put them in my all-do uh, electric cooler door. And that thing is set at about 63, on an average, about 63% humidity. And the cooler this cigar is, the better it smokes. I found that out. I mean, it's performing flawlessly. Normally, I have to touch the burn up on this cigar, but not this time. This one is truly, truly performing well. Shout out to my man, Lee Mac 912. You guys get a chance, go check Lee Mac out. I know you all, everybody's checking out Lee Mac, but shout out to my man, Lee Mac 912. And I'm going to have to say that I'm truly, truly enjoying my wine, man. The Cali Red by Snoop Dogg. Nice velvety texture to it. Dark, sweet, fruity notes. Initially, I thought it was too sweet, but it's calmed down. It's not bad at all. Pretty good pairing for me. So, Cowboy's going to continue to smoke this thing down to the last third, man. We'll get down past that band and get towards that next band up there. Come back and let you guys know where we finish. Give you my score. Y'all relax. I believed in myself when the world tried to train a dog not to. Gotta thank myself for that. I already did. But I'm gonna do it again. Billy Bow Tie. I need to hear that you have the cooler the humidity, the better the smoke, bro. Cowboy has done the work. Smokes better when it's cooler. So, we are back with the final third on the copper label by Bowtie, the 6x54 Toro. And the cigar has been performing its butt off. As you can see, I still got a nice burn line there that is straightening itself up. I thought I was going to have to touch that up. But it did catch up with itself. The ash now is getting a little bit flaky on me. But uh, great smoking cigar for me tonight, man. I'm just a cigar opinion that said work. That's what you guys get from me. On this final third on that retro, now we're getting like a, not so much a red pepper, but more of a white pepper and a floral on the retro. Picked up a nice salty nut. They're on the last third as well nice mineral earth all those other notes that i was speaking of earlier the mild spiciness that was there was more like a a, a chipotle spiciness for me uh had that weak, sweet red pepper going on the retro earlier the leather the cedar wood the powdered sugar chocolate and cocoa the, the coffee the nice sweet tobacco core very very nice smoking cigar for me tonight man 
Hey, and shout out to my man, uh, before I forget, Cigar Tim. Cigar Show Tim. Shout out to you, Cigar Show Tim, man. I see you putting in work over there, man. Pretty work on that, bro. Keep doing what you do. Shout out to my man, Ash Head. Pretty work over there, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. So, Cowboy ain't gonna mess around, man. Hey, the wine is great, man. If you guys get a chance, you gotta go out and find that 19 Crimes Cali Red by Snoop Dogg, man. I think it's great. I think it's a good wine. Nice fruit forward dessert wine, in my opinion. So it's Cowboy Scores, the copper label, on my score of 1 to 10 tonight. We give the construction a 9. We are also going to give the burn a 9. We give the flavors an 8. The body an 8. I'm sorry, the body a 7. And complexity and transition a 7. So when we tally all that up, on my scale of 1 to 10, the bow tie... Copper Label gets an overall score tonight of an 8, man. On my scale of 1 to 10, that makes this a good everyday cigar. Definitely one and a half in the box. I think on the site right now, you can get a 5-pack of these for 42 bucks. They go about eight fifty a stick. But it's definitely a box-worthy stick, man. It's one of my go-tos that I like to pull out the box and smoke in my everyday rotation, man. Pretty, pretty work on that. So before Cowboy gets out of here, man, I just want to say, man, uh, y'all be careful who you allow to get inside of your circle, man. There's so many people trying to get in your circle, man, but they got ulterior motives. So you got to be very careful who you break bread with. Everybody can't have a seat at the table. That's just how it is. This is Cowboy. This is my hip hop cigar and wine pairing for the night. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my evening. I expect you all to do the same. That's my take on it. Peace.